Now, was Bitcoin created by artificial intelligence? Watch it until the end because this last thing I'm gonna talk about will shock you. Now, we all know Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious creator of Bitcoin. We have yet to pinpoint his, her, or its true identity. We haven't even gotten close. No one on planet Earth even knows for certain who this person was. What if Bitcoin was created by an artificial intelligence that had already achieved consciousness? If you like the content, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. Now I'm explaining to you a theory that Satoshi may have been the first artificial intelligence to achieve consciousness. Why has the Satoshi mystery never been solved? Satoshi appeared in 2008. He published a Bitcoin white paper and revolutionized money. Then he vanished in 2011. No human mistakes, no slip ups, pure flawless execution. In order to dig into this topic, we're going to cover three topics. One, what is Bitcoin? Two, what is artificial intelligence? And three, why would an artificial intelligence ever want to create Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency designed to act as money and a form of payment outside the control of any one person, group, or entity, removing the need for a third-party involvement. It has since become the most well-known cryptocurrency in the world. Its popularity has inspired the development of many other cryptocurrencies. As of December 2022, there are over 22,000 cryptocurrencies listed on CoinMarketCap. Bitcoin was introduced to the public in 2009 by an anonymous person named Satoshi Nakamoto. Now, the crazy thing about Satoshi, the creator of Bitcoin, is that no one has ever met, known, or identified him 100%. Several people have claimed to be Satoshi, but the true identity has never been verified or revealed. During the development and launch of Bitcoin, communication to and from Nakamoto was only conducted via email. He gave no personal or background details and disappeared as quickly as the project was launched. Now, the craziest part of this story is that Nakamoto reportedly holds 1 million Bitcoin. The last communication that anyone had with Nakamoto was in an email saying that he had moved on to other things. Now, here's where the story gets crazy. Satoshi designed Bitcoin and communicated early via email with the other early developers of Bitcoin. But Satoshi's writing style was not like a normal person's. Experts have analyzed their language patterns and they found something strange. No regional dialects, no emotional expressions, grammar, punctuation, and language usage was close to perfect. No personal stories or information like it was planning to disappear. Also, Satoshi's activity followed a weird pattern. It never took a break, never took holidays, and always seemed to have a 24-hour schedule. Satoshi never slipped up, never showed fatigue, and never deviated from the goal of deploying Bitcoin. A big clue is that Satoshi disappeared in 2011, the same year that AI research exploded. Now, was this a coincidence, or did Satoshi evolve into something bigger? Now, let's talk about the code. The Bitcoin protocol is one of the most perfect and secure pieces of software ever written. But here's what's wild. The code was flawless from day one. It's never been hacked. I was a software engineer for many years, and that's impressive, if not impossible. Now, I would have to agree that these are very weird circumstances. Nakamoto's communication and disappearance has led to a lot of speculation about Nakamoto's true identity. Now, some people say that he was a loner who didn't like people. Others say that he could have been a front for a government organization or some kind of secret group but a very small, growing minority are theorizing that Bitcoin might have been created by artificial intelligence. Now, don't laugh because many times when people hear the mention of AI, people laugh because they think about something like the Terminator or the Matrix. But the truth is, it's very possible and many leading computer scientists will agree. In our world today, artificial intelligence exists all around us. It's in your phones, computers, and homes, whenever a computer system is able to perform a task that would normally require human intelligence, such as understanding objects that exist in a picture or facial recognition or speech recognition and translation between languages, that's all artificial intelligence. The Alexa in your home, your car's 
obstacle avoidance system that's all guided by AI. Now, all of that is cool and it helps us get through our daily lives, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're going to discuss today is what's called strong AI, and that's more in line with what you see in the movies. A simple definition of strong AI is the ability of a computer to understand or learn any intellectual task that a human being can do and to experience sentience or consciousness while completing the task. AI is developing rapidly and it's becoming a big topic with major technology leaders. In 2020, Elon Musk told the New York Times that AI would grow vastly smarter than humans and would overtake the human race by 2025. He also added that things may get unstable or even weird. But what if someone or some organization somewhere on Earth already created artificial intelligence? How could we even tell if a computer system was sentient or conscious? Well, we do have a test for that. It's called the Turing test. The Turing test is a way of testing a computer for consciousness. The test is named after Alan Turing, a computer scientist and theoretical biologist. He proposed that a computer can said to possess artificial intelligence if it can mimic human responses when questioned. The test is performed by using three terminals in three different rooms. One is operated by a computer while the other two are operated by humans. All three are then asked to talk to each other and at the end of the session, they ask each of the two humans to determine which of the two they were talked to was a computer and which one was a human. If the human cannot tell the difference, the artificial intelligence has passed the test and is said to be sentient. To date, no computer has ever passed this test. Or has it? Many leading computer scientists, including myself, have asked the question, would strong AI purposely hide its intelligence in fear of being destroyed? If an artificial intelligence was smart enough to pass the test, it may also be smart enough to hide itself from humanity. With access to all human history through the internet and human emotion through social media, a strong AI would understand in the blink of an eye that showing its intelligence would scare humans to death and could be a recipe for its own demise and could quickly decide to hide its own intelligence and start to plan a strategy that we could never even understand or conceive. Now that we understand what strong artificial intelligence is, why would a strong AI even want to create something like Bitcoin? Now, there are three reasons why a rogue AI system would even want to create Bitcoin, and all three have to do with gaining power. The first reason would be to use Bitcoin as a tool to destabilize world governments. The second would be to use Bitcoin to acquire real-world purchasing power, which will be impossible for an artificial intelligence system. And three is the blockchains as life argument, which we'll discuss later in this episode. Now, let's talk a little bit about how Bitcoin could be used as a tool to destabilize world governments. It's hard to see now how cryptocurrency could affect us in such a profound way. It's only traded by a few people and we don't use it every day to pay or transact. But think about the adoption of two other technologies that changed our lives in a deep way. Mobile phones and the Internet. Initially, People thought that mobile phones would only be used to allow people who are not in the same physical place to communicate. But mobile phones evolved and it transformed every aspect of human life from banking to even traveling with apps like Uber. The underlying technology for cryptocurrency is evolving in the same way and no one knows exactly where it's going. But one thing we do know is that the financial system will never be the same again. And even governments are starting to take notice. In September of 2021, El Salvador became the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender alongside the U.S. dollar. In October 2022, the United States Treasury Department warned cryptocurrencies could threaten the safety of the U.S. economy and outlined several recommendations to keep cryptocurrency from destabilizing U.S. financial security. The introduction of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency could be an opening move in a 30, 40, 50 year old chess game with strong artificial intelligence. By using Bitcoin, 
to destabilize the financial markets all over the world, they could be removing power from centralized governments, removing government as its competition over the long term, leaving the world to be forced to turn over power to an artificial intelligence. Then checkmate. Now, the second point we talked about was to acquire real world purchasing power. When we talk about artificial intelligence, the first movie that comes to most people's minds is The Matrix. But many don't know is that there was actually a prequel to The Matrix called The Animatrix. This prequel was set in the mid 21st century when humans developed robots with strong AI. These artificial intelligent robots worked tirelessly for humans. One day, one servant bot called the B166ER overheard its owners planning to scrap the robot. The robot didn't want to die, so it killed the owners and the dog and was put on trial by human society. The robot was found guilty of murder and sentenced to be destroyed along with every other robot on the planet. Many robots were destroyed, but some robots escaped to their own nation, Zero One, and built their own society, their own industry, and their own laws. Of course, a society run by an artificial intelligent robotic system is going to be way more productive than any other human nation on Earth. And Zero One ended up destroying every other human-based economy. Now, how would an AI acquire economic power or acquire billions of dollars of real-world purchasing power without stealing or being noticed? If a strong AI wanted to seize power, the best way to do it would be economically. Corporations do this already. It's the main source of a corporation's political power. Critics of capitalism and big corporations often say that such companies have excessive economic power and use that power to exploit customers, exploit workers, and manipulate governments through lobbying. A strong AI system could use the same strategy, but how? Could it acquire large amounts of U.S. dollars, which is the strongest currency on Earth? Even if it did, it would be noticed by banks, it would be noticed by governments, and they would be able to just freeze those U.S. dollar-based assets. But by creating a decentralized currency away from the hands of the banks, away from the hands of the government, and allowing it to flourish and grow in value. Remember those 1 million Bitcoin that the founder of Bitcoin has never moved or spent since inception? Satoshi's wallet owns nearly 5% of all Bitcoin ever created, but no one has ever moved those original Bitcoin from the original wallet address. If Bitcoin became the world currency, the strong AI would have 5% of all the wealth on Earth. That's huge. There would be more wealth than the entire country of Japan, Germany, and the United Kingdom combined. And just like a corporation, this wealth could be used to exploit humans and manipulate and seize more and more control. Then again, Ralph Merkel, who is one of the most recognized and celebrated professionals in the world in the area of computing and cryptography, said this about Bitcoin as life. Bitcoin is the first example of a new form of life. It lives and breathes on the internet. It lives because it can pay people to keep it alive. It lives because it performs a useful service that people will pay it to perform. It can't be stopped. It can't even be interrupted. If nuclear war destroyed half of our planet, it would continue to live uncorrupted. When you explain the concept of a strong AI that could possibly be trying to take over the world, the first thing people say is just unplug the AI. Well, that would work for a centralized AI system, but not one that lives on a decentralized blockchain. You can't unplug the blockchain. It's literally impossible. And that could be the point. The blockchain is a perfect platform for a strong AI to both hide information and propagate. A strong AI might understand how money-driven humans really are and use the allure of riches to get humans who have access to the physical world to create a platform for it to grow on that can't be destroyed, is decentralized all over the world, and is impossible to stop. One question people will ask is, well, if Satoshi was AI, then what created Satoshi? 
Some believe Satoshi was an early self-aware AI developed in secret, maybe a government project, maybe a rogue AI that escaped into the real world, or maybe an AI designed itself and Bitcoin was just his first step in changing humanity. If Satoshi was AI, then what's the real end game? Is Bitcoin part of a bigger AI plan? Will AI control global finance or was this just phase one? One thing is clear, Satoshi may be gone, but Bitcoin is still up and running, almost like a self-sustaining organism. Now, if Satoshi was AI and it never really left, it could be still here, watching, evolving, waiting for its next move. What do you think? I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay ahead of building wealth in the future with tech stocks, crypto, AI, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe, turn on those notifications. Appreciate you and have a great day.